take five. I'm just playing with toys. So my name is Mer Lafferty. I am a streamer and a podcaster and a writer. Um, I podcast I Should Be Writing, the podcast for wannabe fiction writers and ditch diggers. I podcast for people who want to uh, learn about the business of writing. My books include Solo, A Star Wars Story, the novelization, and Six Wakes, which is uh, a science fiction book that was nominated for the Hugo, the Nebula, and the Philip K. Dick Awards. And I'm here to tell you what I love about NaNoWriMo. There's two words usually involved with NaNoWriMo. One of them is win and the other one is lose. By all the rights of the way the wording is, I have lost NaNoWriMo every year I've tried. Now, while that does make me feel kind of bad, I, as I mentioned earlier, I, I know I can finish a book. So that's not really the issue here. It's being part of the whole community, the feeling of taking part in this global event of everybody writing at the same time, and that's lots of fun. But I was thinking about it one year, and I thought, I think one year I got about to 45,000. So close. And I thought, wait a minute, if I had not done NaNoWriMo, would I have 45,000 words? The answer was no. I really wouldn't have. I wouldn't have pushed myself that hard. And I realized that winning and losing is not quite the right answer because if you participate in NaNoWriMo, you very likely will end up with more words than you would have had you not participated. And that gets you ahead in whatever project you're working on. And that itself is a win for me. So I don't like the terms win and lose. I just like to participate and write a whole bunch. If I get to 50,000 this year for the very first time, I'll be happy. But if I write 30, 40,000 words, I'll also be happy. I also want to tell you why I give to NaNoWriMo as a charity every month. I was lucky enough to be uh, mostly supported as a young writer. I always wanted to be a writer and mostly I got support. My parents supported me and some of my teachers did. Some of them thought science fiction was a terrible idea, but uh, I had enough good support. But I know there are kids out there who don't have that. There are kids out there who want to write who don't think they're good enough. There are kids out there who want to write whose parents or teachers tell them it's a waste of time or what they want to write is a waste of time. And there are some kids who will listen to that and will stop writing. And that breaks my heart. So with NaNoWriMo and what it does to support young writers, if you give to NaNoWriMo what you're giving to support young writers, it's immeasurable, actually, because there will be kids who will grow up and become writers and write books that you'll probably read in about 20 years. And we don't know if they would have been there without NaNoWriMo. We don't know. But I can guarantee you that there will be some writers who would not have been there without the support that NaNoWriMo gives for their Young Writers Program. So that's why I give every month. Get out there, join, get some writing done, try as hard as you can, and if you don't hit the 50, well, then you get to be in my club, where we're just proud of writing more than we usually did. Any word is a, any word is a victory, any of them. So, good luck.